Hello, you're my kind. Steve Appleyard and Louis Appleyard. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all right. And uh, we're going to do a song for you. It's a song that I wrote, well, 11 years ago actually. Um, and it's called House of Blind. Um, it's a bit of a bluesy number. We've not played it for a while. We've just sort of been getting his levels somewhat like, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, so we, we, we're going to see if we can get through it. And if we get through it, we do. And if we don't, we might just put this video up anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So shall we start it off like that? When I just start singing and then we'll go straight into it. Uh, yeah. Or shall I just play that intro? Uh, start singing and then go into it. Do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. House of Life. It's all gone to hell. I can't feel no more. I'm in a gun and sick. And I'm looking for the door. I can't breathe your mind. I can't read your face. I may as well be blind. When we did as, as one gig with the band, in fact, we've just been for a um, a bite to eat. We're not going to do any advertising, I don't like that. We're not going to say exactly where we've been, but we just went for a bite to eat. And and his old drummer out at band, well, he works there yeah. now, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, so, and that was nice to see him because we haven't seen him, have we, since? Yeah. Well, since just after the gig, wasn't it? Yeah. So. So it's uh, yeah, good stuff. Um, right, we're gonna have a go 
at um, another song in a moment because I need to stop recording this. <laughs> Don't I? Yeah, because yeah, it's going to be a separate vlog, as it were. So, um, I've mentioned in one or two of the other videos, or probably all of them, I don't know, I lose track, about the links below. Um, and about, you know, just please follow the links below. Self-help links below, they really can help you. You know, if you've got things going off, if you're struggling in your life, click on these links, check them out. If they resonate with you, they're for you. And if they don't, then they're not. It's that same with this channel. That same with anything, what we, any of the vlogs, anything, you know, it's what resonates with you personally. Okay. So, um, hope you're all well, humankind. Thanks for listening. It's, uh, it's only a short one, is this one. Um, um, I'll probably do an intro to it and I, I, or even after we might just have a little talk about something or I might even tell a story. What do you want? You like your stories, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you do, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Shall we tell a story now while we're recording? Uh, yeah. Shall we? Shall I make one up? Yeah. Can I make one up about that young guitarist? Are you putting that down? So yeah. It, go on then. Oh, um... No, go on, go on. Yeah, I hate you. Come on, So, this young guitarist. Where's he gone? I'm here. Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Though this young guitarist, and he, he, he won't much, you know, he won't, he won't old. I say a young guitarist, he'd only been playing sort of, you know, he'd only been playing sort of six months, but he had a, he, he picked a few notes up. Anyway, he went one day to this, uh, it was like, you know like the cavern, what the Beatles used to, yeah. you know when we went to Liverpool and we went to that cavern. The place, actual cavern, we? yeah. Well, that wasn't the actual one, it won't, but that wasn't the actual one. Wasn't it? No. No. But we went to a place called the cavern, because they, you know, they, they sort it. of redid it, different location. Um, and he, he went to this place and it was similar to the cavern, right? Now, he, all he'd done was take his guitar with him. And when he walked in, there were, there were, it was derelict. There were no one there, you know. And it was were, it were actually, it was under um, a railway line. So it was like a, what do you call them? A viaduct. It was like a viaduct, yeah. you know. But one of them were open. But it resembled the cavern, you know, with the shape. So he went in and he got his guitar. And it was a derelict line as well. There were no trains coming over, thundering past or anything like that. Yeah. And in fact, there were, there were, it was a derelict area. So he just found himself, you know, gone for a wander. And he got his guitar with him. And he, and he walked into this. It was, all, it was the only one that would open. All the rest of them were being bricked up, you know. So... Anyway, he walked in, and it was a bit, it was a bit dark, but he wasn't afraid. He was only young lad, he was only young, but he wasn't afraid. Um, he realised that his guides were with him all the time, you know, and, and he was looked after, and he, you know what I mean, he had lots of faith and, and belief and, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, he, he went and he, and he sat, there was um, an old milk crate at the back, and he went and sat on this old milk crate, and he just got his guitar. And he just started playing, just... And then, as he, because he, like I say, not been playing that long, hmm. every time he hit a note, the, ca the cavern seemed to get a little bit brighter every time. Every time he, every time he struck a note, you know, and it was just getting brighter and brighter. But it, it not, it not been playing that long. But it was just like an energy had taken over. 
Yeah. Not taken over, not like possessed him, I don't like that. It just swept over him of this really nice warm energy and it swept all through his body, all the way up and all the way, all the way down. Yeah. And he could find it in the water. Just. And as he's watching, as he's, as he's, he's noticing it's getting lighter and lighter, the lighter it got, the better he got on his guitar. Yeah. It would it would like it would just like the guidance and the and the power of whatever, you know, were just flooding him. And they were like You know, it's glowing. It's like somebody's put a light on inside. It's almost like the walls had, had started to glow. I'm boring you. <laughs> no. I'm boring you. No. I'm boring you and all that there. So, so that's if there's anybody watching. So, and then he, so he gets to he gets to that stage. And then, and then it goes. yourself what it's like when the music takes you over yeah. I used to love going dancing I used to love going dancing I used to I used to have a, a pair of black and white brogues shoes and I used to I used to think I was something else in that I used to wear a suit and I used to go and I used to be strutting my stuff on, on the dance floor <laughs> <laughs> drunk as a skunk <laughs> yeah. flashiest thing about me or my shoes mate I'll tell you <laughs> So, um, so I've, I've lost where am I? Come on, where am I? Uh, his music had taken over him. So music had taken over him, right? He'd never sung a note in his life, but the power of the spirit of what the creation, whatever creation it was, had really engulfed him now. So he started singing. Yeah, Figures, yeah. figures of energy, Fig figures of energy. Well, they start coming out in gold. Not only are they coming out in gold, they're dancing. They're dancing. So yeah. he's like, he's, he's, he's manifested it. He's done it. He's manifested it. He's, 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 his mind's working overtime. His um, imagination's working overtime. It can can see it and all of a sudden it's manifesting in front of him so now he's got all these golden figures that are dancing around him, yeah. you know and the more he gets into it the more he, he, he it's just natural it's just flowing through him coming from somewhere so so it's oh.
does that mean exactly? What it means is, did it always used to be like this? Or have we changed, have we become something that we're not supposed to be? Or, well, no, we are supposed to be it, but have we become something that's, that it was better before? You know, when we were originally what we were. So anyway, this lad, he, he carries on, he carries on playing. And before he knows it, it's absolutely chock-a-block is this place yeah and they're not golden figures anymore they've become and the beans you know yeah i'm not bait beans <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the beans right and they've come from all over galaxy and universe they've come through portals and black holes and everywhere yeah just to be with him because it when, when he started playing Phone home. Well, what he didn't realise, he phoned home, he phoned home all right. What he didn't realise was, he was sat at the gateway, a gateway to a whole different universe and different dimension. Yeah. And his music had filtered through, but it had gone through not only one portal, it had gone through many different portals. And it had attracted many different beings, both in physical form and not, to that location. And every one of them resonated with what he was playing. Yeah. And they all, not all of them, because they were, the, but enough to cram it. You know, they were the scouts from different dimensions who got yeah. to see what, what it was and what this creativity was. And that's what life's all about creativity. Isn't it? Yeah. It is, though, isn't it? Yeah. He'll agree with me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, so they all came. And when he'd done, when he'd finished, the round of applause, what he got, they were cheering, yeah. they were stamping their feet, they were clapping their hands, they were cheering, and the, the feeling what he had within, it would, man, it would just, he'd never felt anything like it before. And that inspired that lad, because when he walked out of there, he'd got that much knowledge and gained that much wisdom about playing guitar and singing songs and creating that he went and he went on to amazing, amazing things in his life. And he didn't even have to try because he just went with the flow and the flow went with him and it was brilliant and he had a wonderful life. Yeah. Anyway, that's this story. Well, that all right? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, okay, all right. I come out with some <laughs> stuff, don't I? Anyway, thanks for listening, humankind. If anybody would like to donate to the channel, please click on the link below. And uh, oops, we'll see you later. That's clumsy clocks here. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>